Now, it's the story dominating most of the front pages today. Education Secretary Gillian Keegan has been under fire after a clip emerged <clears throat> of her swearing in response to criticism of the government's handling of the UK school's concrete crisis, which has left thousands of students unable to return today. Let's take a look. Does anyone ever say, you know what, you've done a good job because everyone else has sat on their and done nothing. No, no, no signs of that. No. Oh. Well, she's now apologised for her off-the-cuff remark, saying it was driven by irritation at the reporters' questions. Do you have any sympathy, Brenda? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just writing down what you said off the cuff because I'm always writing. Um, in my personal opinion, what we didn't see just before the clip that we did see, she does adjust her mic. Um, and it just it in a way it looks like she's taken it off. And my personal theory is that she went to take it off, left it on because she knew it was going to be recording, just to put herself like the cart before the horse. You know something's about to blow up, so let me say something and let me swear about it. So they talk about the swearing rather than the actual problem of the schools <laughs> not being looked after. Well, sorry. Very good theory. I mean, obviously, Gillian Keegan's not here to defend herself. She did it. So... She doesn't no, know. It's, it's there. It's no, there on, what on the I mean is to defend herself against your theory. Well, you know, she could have... But my point... I haven't got anything against her swearing. So, what? Well, I'm not... I I'm not that's terrible swearing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. What a potty mouth I woman. haven't got anything... <laughs> anything against it but it, for my for my part as a parent um you know of of children who have been to school and so on and so forth you have Ofsted reports so that's reporting on the teachers why have they not got somebody inspecting these buildings on a regular basis so this does not happen yeah. Yeah. that's all i got to say <laughs> Yes, Linda, you would never swear, never, would you? Never, yeah. never. I think that's terrible. I there's know, no, when you're talking about young kids and schools and yeah, that, Yeah, there's, there's absolutely no evidence no. anywhere ever no. of you swearing. No. No, Is there? Never. There might have been look-alikes swearing. <laughs> one million pounds right here in this trolley. It came straight from the ITV bank account this morning. How the f*** do I look at it? I would like to apologise oh for Linda's God. language. She knows that she's done wrong. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know, right, come on. Oh, you know what? Explain yourself. You know what? So what happened was they told me it was a rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> so I wheeled a million pounds into the studio thinking it was a rehearsal. I could see the four girls there. <laughs> Brenda, Charlene, Kelly... Do not repeat and the exercise. No. <sighs> and I had a million pounds in the trolley. I was mucking about putting the money down my bra and everything. Two security guards beside me. And then I, I said that word that I'm not supposed to say, the F word. <laughs> and uh, then I had to go off and come back on again. I thought, oh, that's it, I've lost my job. The kids were on half term and everything. <laughs> so I had to come back on again. I didn't think they were going to let me on again. Oh. And uh, then Andy Peters saved me cos he said I'm going to get some soap and wash her mouth out. Wash her mouth out a bit. So, but I'm still swearing. So you see, Brenda, it happens to us all. <laughs> it happens all. to us all and that's not, I'm, that's not what I'm upset about. Swear yeah. away, but do yeah. something. Don't see, have you ever been caught out in a hot well, mic? Well, a hot mic moment, I've had loads of them, because if you've been in the business as long as we have, you know, I've been mic'd up for all sorts of TV series, and, I mean, I do loads of things, like going, just come over here, I'll be this, like this, and something like this. <laughs> but there was once I was, in a, um, I, was in a, I was in a drama series, and we had this sound guy who was a real creep. And every time we went out, because I was a proper... No-one pop, here, you know, we no, hasten to swear. I was, a proper, <laughs> I was a proper party girl, obviously, back in the day, which I know surprised a lot of people, but I was. <laughs> and, um, and so, and anyway, but every time we went out, this guy, you know those guys that try to get off with you when they're really slavery and creepy and sort of and everything? And I wasn't sort of scared of him, but he was such a pain in the uh, back bum. <laughs> Children that we learned oh. off, let alone. Anyway, he was. She a said, "Oh, he was a, he was, said, a yeah, yeah, he was a real, he was a real creep." Anyway, we were filming one day, 
And afterwards, somebody asked me about him and I said, oh my God, he makes my skin crawl. He's disgusting and I want him to stay the bleep away from me. Afterwards, he came up to me and he said, I want to apologise, I heard everything you said. <laughs> on the microphone. And I, rather than sticking to my guns, I went, I got you! <laughs> Which I doubt he believed you this. You fell for it, you little trickster. <laughs> I doubt he believed that I don't for you a believe single it for a second. He never came near me again, so there you go. Well, I have my own... Yeah. I have my own moment when I used to present a show called Crime Watch Daily on BBC One, and it was a live show, but we filmed it at Scotland Yard, and you had to get in through the revolving doors at the start of the show, and it was all too tricksy, so we would pre-record that bit and then be ready inside. And uh, they put out a rehearsal tape by mistake with me saying the fig for fi fi fig <laughs> word. Yeah. Yeah, so well, I got... You got stuck in the doors. I got a lot of stick for that. So, it just proves um, all us loose women have got potty maths. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is now, with so many blooming WhatsApp groups, it's that thing, you know, when you send something and you go, <gasps> and your heart stops and you go into a cold sweat because you think you've sent it to the wrong group and then you're trying to delete it, by which time they've already seen it. Oh, my God. Anyway. Well, if you at home have ever been accidentally <laughs> caught out with your own awkward encounter from texting the wrong person oh, to overhearing someone moaning about you, do get us in touch. Do get in touch and let us know your stories.